morning. It is nearly half past six in the morning. That's Cara being a whinge bag. It's nearly half past six in the morning. I've been up since half past five. And Logan gets neutered today. Yay! I'm tired. Okay, we just left the vets. Um, I'm on my way to my sister's now. I didn't think I'd feel a pull when I left him there. And I feel it and I want to go back and get him. He says no. But yeah, I want to. I, I feel bad. I feel really bad because they're doing his tear ducts as well, and she told us how they do it. And basically, they put a catheter in his um, tear ducts yeah, yeah. and flush it out. And if it comes out his nose, then there's no problem. But if it doesn't, then she didn't. She doesn't know what they do. So. But yeah, I've, I've left my baby. I'll be fine when I get to my sister's. I think. Okay, so I'm home. Got a phone call this afternoon at two o'clock saying Logan had had his surgery and that it all went really well and that yes they looked at his tear ducts and one is blocked which he will need surgery to repair. They can't do it so they're referring us to a veterinary clinic that can. Um, excuse my voice, I'm tired. It's ten to ten at night and it's been a long night. My husband and I went to pick Logan up at twenty past four. And on the way home, Logan started being sick. And when we got home, he was sick some more. And it was affecting his breathing both times. Um, called the vets. Well, actually, no, the vet called me about the referral to the clinic. And I mentioned on the phone what was happening. And they said, okay, well, if it happens again and if it affects his breathing, you have to bring him back in. Um, so it happened again. I called the vets up and said look it happened again do I absolutely have to bring him back in they said yes he's having a reaction to the anaesthetic from earlier we need to see him managed to get him back in the vets by 10 to 8 it took that long to get him back in because my husband couldn't take me he was already home by then and I had to get a taxi so but he was sick on the way there in the taxi as well which wasn't brilliant um, took him in, the vet looked at him, originally he said I was going to be taking him home but then it, Logan was sick again so he said that no actually he should probably stay here, he checked for dehydration, he said he's slightly dehydrated um, and it's actually best that we keep him in and we keep an eye on him and I was like okay do what's best, I felt really bad for Logan, really really bad because not only has he had you know the snip and he's had his tear ducts looked at and he's being violently sick and it's affecting his breathing because it keeps going up his nose but at the same time he didn't want to be left when the vet went to take him off me Logan climbed up here and gripped really tight so the vet's trying to pull him and Logan's like gripping here really tightly and I had to pry him off me and I felt so bad but it's okay because I get a phone call tomorrow before 8 o'clock giving me an update on how he's doing. And I should be able to pick him up um, probably in the afternoon, I think, when my husband finishes work. Depends on how he is and uh, what time really we can get there. But they're pretty sure we'll be able to get him tomorrow. So that'll be good. <sighs> I'm shattered. It's been a really long day now and a really long night. Like I said, it's if I haven't said it already, it's five to ten now, and um, yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm actually going to video call my husband soon and then go to bed. He's having issues as well. His cat's broken his foot, so it's been a week for it, really, a weekend for it even. Um, Fletch, the white cat, fell and injured his foot somehow on Saturday. And it turns out it's broken in three places. And he has to have surgery either sometime tonight or tomorrow. So he's been left overnight at the vets as well. And he'll probably be there for a few days. Which absolutely sucks. So, yeah, we're both going through it with our pets at the moment. I was in tears earlier. I'm not even kidding. Like, seeing Logan so weak and throwing up and struggling to breathe through his nose and struggling to find a way to get him to the vets 
was just driving me absolutely up the wall and I was in bits but it's okay because I spoke to my sister and she calmed me down and you know my husband he did apologize for the fact he can't come and take us to the vets it's not his fault like I said he's got his own stuff going on right now as well and <clears throat> the taxi was okay or at least it was until Logan threw up in his crate in the taxi and then I got cussed out by the driver Sorry, you knew you were picking up a dog. It said, and you knew, not only knew you were picking up a dog, you knew you were picking up a sick dog. Because it says on the thing, and I could see it from the back seat, from Welford to the name of our vets. So you knew damn well you were picking up a sick dog. <laughs> and I did say that when I booked the bloody taxi, so don't cuss me out for it. It's not nice. It's not nice. Other than that, I had a good day. I had a really good laugh with Tanya today. I spent the day with her while Logan was at the vets. And yeah, we had a really good laugh. So it's gone from being kind of like the low of leaving him at the vets this morning to being a really high, happy day to being a really low day again. And now I'm just shattered. <laughs> so I'm going to sign off here before I start really rambling. And I'll pick this vlog up again probably tomorrow after the vet calls. Okay, so it's Tuesday afternoon now and we're going to go pick up Logan from the vets. The vet called this morning and said he's ready to come home. So that's where we're going. We're going, we're going to go get him and we're in the van. And when I say we, I mean we. Hi, BC. Look who we got. <laughs> He's saying hi to the camera. He's like, I did, but then I realised it's my reflection. It's fine. <laughs> We're going home. Logan, stop. Come on, stop. You can't get it off, darling. You can't. Aww. All home and sleeping soundly. Taking a break from the cone. <laughs> No. <laughs> Home, sleeping soundly again. He's been sleeping in about five minute increments. Um, um, and he's been fighting the cone. So he's a smart little bugger. He's figured out if he pushes the cone up against something so it's against his face, he can get hold of it. So yeah, I'm, we're wondering how long the cone's actually going to last at the moment. <clears throat> um, but other than that, he's fine. He's all better, like I said earlier. And back to his old self. He's been very lively, very energetic. Kara hasn't left him alone since we've been home. He's been very interested in Kara. Yeah, things are back to normal. Aside from the fact he has stitches and we need to make sure he leaves them alone and he's wearing a cone and he's on painkillers and he's got eye drops to keep his eye moist or something because of his tear duct. And he's got a referral for surgery. Um, we're waiting for the referral. They found somebody that can do one of two procedures but they need to see him to know which procedure is going to work best. <clears throat> which is fine. Little update on my husband's cat. He had surgery. He had metal rods put in his feet, in his foot even, because um, he broke three, broke his foot in three places. He had metal rods put in to fix it, and they're keeping him in for pretty much most of the week. So, yeah, he's gonna be poorly, and he's not a very happy bunny at the moment. Well, cat, he's not a very happy kitty at the moment, but he'll be fine, <sighs> thankfully. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, thank you for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you next time.